In this video, I will be showing you how to install the main board power components. First, we install the R2 and R3 resistors. These are very important because without them, the capacitors cannot drain their energy and the board will be unsafe to service. Now to install the C4 and C5 bus capacitors. Note they are directional. The negative side is marked on the side of the capacitor and the positive is marked on the board. Now we'll be installing X2, the three pin right angle header for the primary and antenna. Then we install the D4 bridge rectifier. Now if we're using a 110 volt kit, you will also have to install a 110 volt jumper. If you're using a 220 volt kit, skip this step. Don't do it. Lastly, install the F1 fuse clips. Clip the fuse into the clips to help them stay in place while you solder. Now you can either run the low voltage troubleshooting test or you can continue on to install the IGBTs.